Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. Thank you for joining me today. We are doing another vlog and we're going to Austin, Texas. I've never been there. I've never been to Texas. I think at this point I've been to more countries than I have been to states. So very excited about that. And thanks to COVID, I haven't been on a plane in two years. So how the fuck do airports work? I don't know. That being said, I'm a little hesitant because things have been things have been rough lately. So I don't know if this trip is gonna be like the best thing I could do for my mental health or possibly the worst thing I could do for my mental health. So we're gonna find out. My goal is just to have fun. Um, we're going with a big group of girls, most of whom I do not know. I think two guys are coming with us as well and we're renting an Airbnb like in the city and yeah, I'm not gonna know anyone and I need to leave. I need to go get my car and go to the airport. So see you in a few. Waiting, waiting for them to get through security because I got that TSA pre-check. <laughs> Good morning. First day in Austin. Uh, we're at our friend Laura's house. What? Oh no. <laughs> and um, so we stayed at. <laughs> we are at our friend Laura's house right now. <laughs> I'm trying to film, and every time I say something. <laughs> I'm dying. Every time I say anything, you're like, I am pimple. <laughs> okay, now that Alyssa's dealing with her shit. Um, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> we are we are in Austin. It is our first morning here. We are at our friend Laura's house right now. She let us stay here last night because we don't get into our Airbnb until today. So I don't really know what we're doing yet, but we're gonna get dressed, repack our bags, hopefully find some food, and then figure out this Airbnb situation as everyone else flies in. So yeah, let me get dressed. <laughs> Uber. Oh man, I wasn't in that one. Well, come here. Wait, it's a recording. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yes. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Better than most hostels I've stayed at, for sure. <laughs> Ashley's about to get on the floor. 
I'm, I'm, that's what I'm still at. We don't know which bar to go to. We only put this one because that's what we know. Which bar should we go to on this street? Going down? Stop us off at the best bar that is on this street. Good morning guys. It is Saturday. We are on our second full day in Austin, Texas. And while this is not a, a solo trip, I had to find some solo time to get out and explore a little bit on my own. So it is about 8 a.m. and I've gotten up to go get some coffee. We're in the West Campus area, so I think I'm basically walking onto uh, UT's campus um, to find this little coffee shop. Uh, had a late night last night, but I kept it pretty low-key. I was well-behaved, so I actually feel pretty good. I just need a little caffeine to get me going. Cause you know, it doesn't matter what time I go to bed. I'm waking up at seven. So <laughs> there's that. So let me get some coffee and then I'll give you the details on everything we did yesterday because I didn't really get to narrate. I was just like filming and yeah, we'll go from there. But so far I'm having, I'm having a great time. <laughs> Oh, I think this is it, over here. So I just got coffee, or chai tea, I should say, from Lucky Lab Coffee Company, which is over here on West Campus. And actually the girl that gave me my order um, is from Nova. So she saw, my, she saw my Mason sweatshirt and was asking me about it. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, I'm in like this cute little kind of plaza area here. Looks like maybe they have some other bars, restaurants, eats place, and this nice area outside where you can sit. Okay, so yesterday we got in and we got settled in our Airbnb, as you saw. And then everyone started to trickle in, so some of our party got in really, really late. Uh, but we all got dressed and we went out to bull and bull <laughs> which is where you saw the bull riding uh that was really fun the food that we had was great we had the charcuterie board and the truffle fries and the cornbread and some cocktails i had an espresso martini there which was delicious and i hate to say it but probably my new order and the service they were so so friendly so shout out to them they were a great first stop and then after that we went back to the airbnb and got like dressed up for the night, like glam. And then our first stop once we were glammed up was the cat's pajamas. That was cool, but we weren't there for very long. The vibe was a little strange. It took us a while to find a good vibe. So we went over to, oh, what was that? What was the other place? No, we went to Pop and we went to cat's pajamas. And then there was this other bar right next door to Pop. And then we ended up going down to Green Light Social, if I'm correct. It was very, very crowded. And the line was around the block, but Laura, who we stayed with our first night, her friend met us out and she knew one of the bartenders. So we managed to get in the back door and then the other half of our group somehow <laughs> finagled their way in with whoever was standing like first or second in line. So we all ended up in there and it was packed and had better like dance music better vibes but like i said it just kept it low-key so it was pretty it's pretty uneventful for me <laughs> and then yeah we just caught an uber home oh well first we went to some food trucks and then we caught an uber home and i had a hero which now i'm regretting that i didn't film because it was it was delicious and everything here is it's definitely cheaper that meal last night like eight dollars or something compared to nova prices coffee was four dollars so i'm here for it check this out it's just all these food trucks and they all just seem to park like permanently obviously it's a little cooler during the day when it's open <laughs> i don't know i mean i feel like i'm lucky in virginia when we get food trucks uh at least in the area that that i'm in i guess there's more probably downtown but like the area that i live in outside of dc 
you know, you might have one at a brewery every now and then, but it's really cool to like see so many and get to try so many different ones. It's just, it's just a different vibe. So, God, I sound like such a millennial or is it Gen Z? I don't know. I'm a millennial, but what is vibe? I'm stopping. <laughs> Learning my way around a little bit. Our Airbnb is on 25th Street, which is full of construction. So I'm going to walk down 26th Street and the direction that I went towards campus it was just really busy like I got onto uh, the drag and I was like oh my god there's too many cars so I'm gonna go the other way and see if I can see the river take the sweatshirt off it's starting to get warm out here so I made it down to the other side of basically our our building I didn't realize this was back here let me turn the camera around this is much better than the construction. So I walked, I walked this little trail here and you probably can't tell, but there's like this little river over there. And uh, yeah, this was nice. So I was on the phone with my mom and I just walked, had a little nature walk and chatted with her. She's also on a trip. So it was nice to catch up but I just got a message that Ashley is awake. So I'm gonna go back to the Airbnb and see what everyone else is doing. It's perfect timing. Almost done with my, with my latte and uh, get ready for this day. I heard, rumor has it, we're going to a drag brunch at one o'clock, which having been to a drag brunch before, I'm very excited about. Where are we going? The coconut, the coconut club. club. <laughs> what are we going for? We're at Takiro Mucho, the pink place, day three. Well, so much for the rest of the day. Absolutely. Where are you heading next? Um, yeah, so this place called the Dogwood. Mimosas here are $14 and it's an entire bottle of champagne.
I slept all night last night, so I'm ready. <laughs> Said our goodbyes, and now we're just sitting in a park by the river. Yeah, it was at this point that we went to the airport, and everything went to shit. And I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm still sick. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. It was a blast. See you on the next one.